Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's ask the question, are we in danger of an Android monopoly? Okay, so it's another beautiful day today. I love this time of year. It makes me miss San Diego a little bit less, right? Just It's nice just to sit out in the garden rather than sit in the office and do the video. So a couple of days ago, we did uh, video 335, which was about how do we know Apple and Google aren't um, aren't cheating you, right? So, uh, and I got a really good comment on that video from uh, Emery uh, Turgay, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name, but he said, hey Eric, I remember that one point you were mad at Apple and you wish Google would dominate the app market. It's true, I do, I do wish, to, you know, here I am holding an iPhone, but I wish Google would, would dominate a bit more. Now, the subject, uh, it, I may be misquoting. No, that's, that's about right. Uh, now, the subject of this video is an answer to your previous video, Danger of Monopoly. The competition between Google and Apple is forcing them to minimize the amount they're getting from us app developers. Um, I'm not sure about that, about whether or not it's forcing them to minimize what they get from us, but that's a very good point. It's one that I tend to forget about, the, the danger of monopoly, right? I've talked about this before where you know, the iPhone is better because Android came along, right? And Android is better because the iPhone is there, right? And it's just, and, you know, and I wish that Windows Phone had, had done a better job of trying to innovate as well and forcing the other one so that as we, we leave one platform and go to another, then you know, they, they innovate to try the new, new things. So you know, every year it's watching for the Google I.O. Uh, conference and the WWDC to see what the new kind of stuff that's coming out and the new innovations. And to be honest with you, for the last couple of years, I haven't been that impressed with a lot of things. Everything seems to be kind of um, just a small iterations of stuff that they already have. I can't think of anything that was huge. Um, some things they try to make huge, like the Apple Pencil and stuff like that. But, you know, it's, it, it does seem like things have kind of slowed down a little bit in terms of innovation, right? We, every time, the last few iPhones have been, you know, just a different shape. You know, we have iOS 11, I suppose, is... Um, was was kind of a big change, but I mean, I didn't I didn't find it to be that big a change. So you know, but what I want, I've said this before, I want like new sensors, right? I want I want to scan for life forms, right? I want to I want to test blood or whatever. I want to you know, I want to check to see you know, uh, carbon levels in the air, or something some new sensor that would would open up whole new worlds for us app developers. But yes, Emery, that is a totally, it's a totally true thing that you said. Yes. If Google did dominate, then we would probably lose out on innovation. I'm hoping that that Microsoft comes back with something new. I mean, it seems like when I mean, if you're a, a, a Windows Phone user, right? And don't take offense to this, but yeah, I think they pretty much wrap that up, and they they need to, to hit back hard with it. I think I've been reading a lot lately about how. Uh, how, um, how the Windows platform is innovating uh, to where a lot of people are actually leaving Apple or leaving their Macs and going back to, to Windows. You know, obviously they're not iPhone developers. That's one of the, you know, God, you know what? I wouldn't mind doing that. I wouldn't mind leaving my Mac and going back to Windows uh, just for that reason. But yeah, very good point. Um, we, what we don't want to have is a monopoly. So yeah, while, while Google is starting to take more market share, makes it easier for us developers, then things will start slowing down technically. So anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think that's, that's a danger? Do you think, you know, would you like to see another platform uh, come online, you know, rather than the, the very, um, well, I think my problem with Apple is just how rigid they are, you know, lately. So, and they don't seem to be very developer friendly, but, uh, but that's just me. <laughs> I don't want to have to make another rant about that again today. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.